working with thousands of people over the last 20 years, I've found three success blocks. And you might want to write these down because these are good nuggets. Number one, justification. Number two, substitution. And number three, procrastination. And here they are. Justification, you're justifying your way out of trying something. We're all guilty of it. Uh, let me just try this. Trying is a back door that Like, eh, it's too hard. Or, mm, maybe I just don't want to do it. That's a backdoor slip out. So get rid of the word try altogether and don't justify it. There's actually, and I do this in a, in a different talk, there is a word in justification and it's the word just that I want you to stay super clear of. Get rid of the word just in 2019 and I'm going to go through that at a later time. Substitution. We substitute an easier task uh, for something that we should be actually doing um, right now. I should be, you know, washing the dishes maybe, but I rather choose to make this video for you. That's a stupid example, but you get the drift. We always, especially when we're sitting in front of, say, we have to do 10 uh, cold calls or we have to do a task that's, that's a little bit harder for us or that's a little bit more tedious. We find a thousand other things that we should be doing maybe or that we can think of doing rather than doing the task and actually working through it. Um, number three is procrastination. We kick the can down the road and just um, think we gotta be perfect and by being perfect we procrastinate and procrastinate and we get stuck in paralysis analysis. So perfectionism, Sorry to say, it does not exist because your perfect is different from my perfect. Um, however, you can always strive to be the best at, that you can be at the time. And that goes into the four agreements that, again, I'm going to do um, a talk on at a later time. So justification, stay clear of. Substitution, just do whatever it takes and do what you said you're going to do and put it in your time management system with a time frame on it that you tomorrow, today, whenever you're going to do it, that you say out, set out to do it. And then procrastination, do it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I always tell myself and my kids and my clients, do the first best worst draft that you can do. Just get it on paper. That's the first thing that you need to do. Because we are even afraid to do that, whatever it is, writing a copy, writing your book, um, writing your new program, you know, asking your uh, boss for a raise. Sit down and write it out and just do a sloppy first one and then go from there. You, you'll see once you've done it once on paper, it's going to get a lot easier and a lot clearer and more specific. So that's for me, for you, uh, on the second day of 